have almost, I could have, I could have, and I didn't. Okay, thanks the Lord, there's a Lord in there. But the love, why are we shy about love? Why are we shy about love? Because I'm, I'm original, baby. Uh, no, but, um, okay, so. Belly and my boobs are tearing up right now. <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> We're like, I just, I just had to wear this because like, you know, I gotta catch your attention. I'm bright and vibrant and blah, 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 you know? Yeah, like a firework. Boom, kaboom. I throw a bomb at you. I throw another one at you. Cause like my knowledge is just amazing. Like, you know, just like that. What? I'm getting cramps and yen? God fucking damn it. Um, yeah, I am obviously back. Like I have to. Um, as you may know, I'm a pretty uh, busy businesswoman, but like. You guys were almost begging for it, so I was like, whoa, 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 calm down, calm down. Okay, okay, I'll deliver another super cool quality video. And uh, that's what I'm here for today. <laughs> so, um, I felt quite um, full of my brains uh, this morning, and I was like, okay, okay. I will deliver the knowledge to you and to the rest of you, because, um, I woke up feeling like doing charity, like being a good person, just for today. Limited edition, you know? So, um, here we are. What can I say? Well, I can say a lot, a lot of things, and uh, yeah. Uh, let's um, just, just be chill and stuff, okay? You don't have to be uh, nervous or anything. Like, I know that um, my presence alone and my knowledge as your mentor is extremely intimidating. But you can you can calm down. But <laughs> um, anyway, um, hi hi. I'm so excited to be here again. Um, so let's get. No, 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 but like, of course, of course. Yeah, yeah, I know that you were waiting for this moment because you are a masochist, but like, yeah, we got a new, a brand new selection of things that I'm gonna, you know, uh, basically <laughs> shove down your throat the fact that you don't possess them like I do. So... This thing. No, actually, I don't. I don't possess it. It's my mom's, but it's purple, so I think it's pretty cool. I play with it, like it's a lava lamp, but it's just uh, for your hair and stuff. <laughs> and uh, then this, this um, this super cute um candle. I figured that I love orange candles, and orange and purple. I know it's not Halloween, but um, I don't know. I just, I just love it. And like, hey, it matches my shirt. Huh? <laughs> and uh, we also got um, a banana to remind you that you are not a mistake. Does that make sense? Yeah, because like when you when you like like it's on the floor and you poop and uh, you know you you uh, you don't you don't roll with it you you, <laughs> you don't roll with it you just uh, you fall down by mistake so yeah you're not you're not a mistake like little banana man. Banana thing is trying to tell you he's kind of shy sometimes, but like he's trying to tell you that um you're not a mistake. Um, and mistakes are okay, but you're not one of them. So yeah, um, and my most precious possession with um my scent and everything, <laughs> um, this loofah sponge that is like a lion, in honor to my uh my curls, which right now are dead, but like. Uh, <laughs> it's an honor to my frizzy hair. Oh my gosh, yeah, the, the scent, the scent is very uh, notorious, God. But uh, yeah, <laughs> um, it's super cute, I think, cause it's like it's like if this is supposed to be like all the mane and stuff, and yeah, I, I, you should you should you should probably get a an animal loofah sponge, okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So this is like the like the yellow corner. Wait, so this is like the yellow corner. There's only a bunch of uh, yellow items in here. Oh, and blue. Oh, here's what um 
what you can do because like currently i'm facing a breakup so i had to take off um the picture of um myself and uh the person so um this is what i did no just kidding <laughs> i always do this like just because um uh, i think it's pretty cool like you know to 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 put stuff where it's not supposed to be like i cut out some book pages and i i framed it <laughs> uh yeah, the book perch. <laughs> um, but I think it looks pretty cute. Like, I don't know. What do you What do you think? What do you think? I think it looks awesome. Like, <laughs> and it doesn't make me cry. It doesn't bring me any memories whatsoever because it's fictional, you know. So, mm. ah, I'm a genius. I'm 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 amazing, honestly. Like for different, uh, many many different reasons. I, yeah, this is gonna be my pet. So, um, just because it's like super colorful and stuff. <laughs> don't feel guilty when you're sad because it, it happens a lot to me like sometimes I feel guilty about getting sad at a specific period of time and it's like it's counterproductive if you start um you know ah ouch okay okay <laughs> why do I always I always end up like hurt when I make videos on my bathroom Maybe because I'm not supposed to make videos in my bathroom. Whatever. Like, <laughs> like imagine making a video on the bathtub. Like, the only, the last thing that I'm, I'm just, right here, I'm waiting for. Like, the last thing that's, um, pending for me is to fall. <laughs> the trip and fall with the, with the soap or something and then fall on my head. And then I die. Well, anyway, um, as I was saying, like, um. No, don't worry. This is not enough film or anything, so it's fine. We're good. We're good. That's never gonna happen. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I was just, I was just thinking to myself, like, if you try to stop being sad at that specific moment, then later on, this will happen to you again. Cause it's like you're just uh, delaying the sadness. Like the sadness will come out either way, whether you want it or not. So the best thing is to like. And if it's coming out right now, then it's for a reason, so just let it out, you know, like, cry it out and all that kind of stuff. Like, sometimes, because I, uh, perhaps I have a date, or I, I'm gonna hang out with friends, or I'm gonna... I don't know, I have to go have dinner, like, in my house we have, uh, food together, uh, the three foods together all day. Um, and then I have to be, like, smiley and stuff, because otherwise you're just gonna be nosy about it. But, um... It's like, you know what, you know what, you don't have to suppress your feelings, you don't have to force anything out. Because then it's also going to show, and you're just going to make people around you uncomfortable. Like, no matter if you have an invitation somewhere, or, you know, I know how it feels, it feels terrible. Because it's like, you feel guilty about feeling sad in that specific moment. Because, like, you had a celebration, or like, oh, freaking hell, like, why can I feel sad, uh, I don't know, like... Uh, five days ago when I had nothing to do and I was, you know, laying in bed all day. Like, why can I be sad in that day that I didn't have any, uh, any, uh, compromise? How do you say it in English? Wait, compromiso. Any, um, any events? Any, like, yeah, but you don't have to go anywhere. You don't have to be with anyone. Like, but you know, sadness, uh, sadness comes in when you want it the least but the best thing you can do is just let your let yourself feel it and and the worst thing you can do at that moment is to guilt trip yourself you know <laughs> like why would you guilt trip yourself like no no no, no. just let yourself feel it because um well because if you don't then as i said like it's just gonna explode it's gonna be worse and perhaps it's going to explode in a public space again in a very uh, inconvenient uh, day or night or morning or whatever it is. Like, you're just going to make it worse for your future you, okay? So let your present you be sad. Um, let it be all. Okay? Okay. So, the next thing that I wanted to say was that... um. Oh uh, yeah, talking about sadness, like, yes, you should, um, you should let yourself feel it, but at the same time, you gotta snap out of it, you know? You gotta snap out of it, cause, um, otherwise you, you just, you just, it's like a loop, and it's never ending. 
because you're just letting it consume you and it's like no you gotta give yourself it's it's time management okay it's like i'm gonna cry then i'm gonna take a power nap i'm not gonna sleep for 10 hours i'm gonna take a freaking power nap i'm gonna put an alarm <laughs> i'm gonna have some time to cry to punch stuff to scream at the top of my lungs if you have the privacy which i don't but <laughs> if you have the so if you have the privacy some at uh, some time, then yeah, do it um, totally. And um, what? Sorry, I just I, I need to catch your attention. Like you know, they say that um, if I don't catch your attention in like fifteen, the first thirty seconds, then you're gonna click off the video, and uh, that's not good for my wallet. So. <laughs> uh, subscribe subscribe oh okay. yeah you want it you want it you want it okay hit the bell notification yes yes <laughs> oh fucking hell i hope this works but um yeah <laughs> so as i was saying like you gotta you gotta snap 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 actually i can't do it with this one so i'll just you gotta snap out of it, okay? Okay, my dude? Okay, my girl? You really gotta do it, cause um, otherwise, uh, as I said, like you're just gonna you're just gonna be in a loop, and and and, and this is not a movie, you know? This is not a movie. Like I think that um, sadness portrayed in media and movies, it looks so uh, I don't know, like romanticized. Like no, it's not gonna be like that, okay? <laughs> so just freaking uh, give yourself time to. Punch what you need to punch, you know? And then, uh, I don't want to say fake it till you make it, because, like, if you really let it out in three days, like, you give yourself three days to freaking be at the end of the world, then you're going to be all fine and dandy, you know? <laughs> uh, no, but, like, you need time to recover from it. And you're not going to recover by, you know, having the same type of intensity with uh, your anger or your whatever. Whatever messed up thing you're, it's going on in there. Like I don't want to, I don't want to get into that. So <laughs> you know better than I do. Um, but yeah, what else can I say? Hmm. Oh yeah, I got, I got one. I got one. So you know how they say that fear is gonna hold you back from doing stuff, and that you should do stuff even when you're feeling fearful about it. Like you should do things with fear. Well, there's a big difference between doing things um, with fear and doing them. In fear, like out of fear, out of fear. Like, <laughs> there's a difference between doing things. Sorry. Oh, I hate my luck. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Sorry. Those are just some quite technical, quite very physical issues. <laughs> but um, we're back. We're okay. We're good. We're good. Uh, it really helps. Like, you treat your belly like a drum. Like, it's gonna. It does some vibrations. I don't know if it's the fat, <laughs> but like it does some vibrations that like it feels better, you know? It just it just makes you feel ah! It's a yeah! You get like some it just it's like sometimes like when you can't you gotta put some feelings on top of the feelings. You know, like when you can't get rid of a feeling, you just gotta put something on top of that feeling. Or no, maybe that's just gonna make it worse. <laughs> Whatever, don't take my advice. But um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, like I was saying, like doing things in fear and doing things out of fear are two, two things. One, that can help you grow as a person, and the other one will just shrink you, okay? It will really, really shrink you, and you don't want that, so don't do things out of fear. Seriously, don't do them. If you are being manipulated, if you are being forced, if you feel guilty, if you fear that you owe to someone, don't, 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 I know it's easy for me to say, but like I'm saying it from my own experience and like in my personal situation I don't think that I'll be able to do things uh, not out of fear like but I've seen so many movies And like even Disney movies and like so 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 many movies in which the same message like the message is the same like, like it, it, That's not the like the key message from the movie But that's what I've noticed like every single issue that happens every single like oh a, a little lie that caught up like everything everything is out of fear hiding stuff from someone because you're afraid of how they react um hiding stuff from someone because you want to protect them and i'm not talking about lying like doing something because you want to please someone else like no 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 don't do it just don't don't don't, don't. okay don't because like um one thing that i used to do 
and it cost me my hunger. Okay, like <laughs> people pleasing is the absolute worst thing. <laughs> I'm telling it to you because maybe you can be saved from it. I know I'm doomed, but please, <laughs> please just take my advice. Run, run away with it. Um, do what I can't do, basically. But um, yeah, just uh, really just uh, if you can, just no, no, that's not, it's not me. It must be. It's the unicorn. It's it, it, it's obviously the unicorn. Like, but yeah, like um, if you can, just do stuff. Cause um, confront that person. Okay, confront, Conf confront, it, confront. Why haven't I looked it up? I have the very first time that I asked for food delivery in my school. Cause I live in the ass of the world. I've already mentioned this before, and I can't order anything. But in school, I can, because the school is like more, uh, it's near to stuff, to restaurants, to actual places, with people. <laughs> so, um, it was the first time that I was there, I asked for some sushi, and it arrived. I even asked for some soda and everything. I was like, oh my god! Like, people mostly do that every single day. Like, I would always watch them, but I couldn't do it. <laughs> like, I, it, it felt so cool, and I had to go to, like, pay with my credit card, and everything, like, whoa, whoa! And like the food was hot and uh, I didn't eat. You know why? You know why? You know why? Because I didn't want people to think that I was a selfish person for not giving them food. So every single bunch of people that, you know, they could afford getting delivery every single day that they had like so many, they were, because like when you join clubs, you have to stay at school. You have to stay over at school and uh, people usually order food. Uh, cause they get hungry, obviously. So, <laughs> these were the type of people that always ordered food. And my dumb ass, I decided to give each person a piece of sushi. And then when I looked, I was like, where did it go? <laughs> it's just like that. It was like, um, excuse me, can you please spit it? Spit it, goddamn you son of a bitch, spit it! <laughs> I can't, like, like, yeah, it was a traumatizing day. It was a very sad day cause I didn't get to, uh, fully enjoy my experience. I was gonna make them throw up, but I couldn't. So, um, yeah, don't be like me. That's just that's just a very silly example, but like, um, seriously, you're talking to you. If you're getting abused or whatever thing, I know it's very hard, I know it's very hard. But please, please, please don't give in and fight, okay? Okay, you're gonna do it, right? You're gonna do it, you're gonna do it. I count on you that you're gonna do it. Sorry, I have to dance because, like, I don't remember what I have to say because my videos are not scripted. I, um. Yeah, yeah. Don't lose hope in something because it hasn't arrived yet. And when it arrives, or like when you have that realization, that epiphany, that life changing moment of a movie, like when you actually you realize, oh my god. I've been a dumbass this whole time. Yes, yes, you've been, so don't worry. <laughs> you just found out in this specific area that you had been a dumbass, but like you have a hundred other areas to um, find out that you've been a dumbass as well. So, uh, yeah, don't, <laughs> don't get too stuck up on that. Um, but yeah, like when something doesn't arrive, um, I swear, I swear, okay? I promise you, I can promise you with my heart. My doggy promise you with her heart. The unicorn in this room, the cat in this room. Oh, don't worry, she doesn't bite. Um, she'll just she'll just scratch uh, wounds opening your skin. But like that's about it. Um, the banana that I threw. All of them swear to you. Oh wait, the lion and the care bear. Okay. Come on, it's a happy care bear. Like he ain't lying. Look at him. Look at him. Just look at him. He ain't lying. So. Um, all of us together can tell you that, um, what were you gonna say? What were you? What? What? They're stupid. What? Don't say, don't say that! Come on! You, you're supposed to be like the, uh, the, 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 the happiness care bear, the hope, the, the, there's no hope. We are doomed. We're all gonna die. Oh my god. Um, anyway. <laughs> eh, as I was saying, like, uh, <laughs> don't lose hope, okay? Cause like, I promise you that that happy ending, that thing is gonna come to you. Well, actually no, life's not a happy ending. Like, 
we're all here to suffer and I say this in a positive way like we're not here to be happy like that's not the final goal imagine if happiness was the final goal like that's just freaking terrifying like imagine living like a hundred years trying to find happiness like no you get happiness then you lose it you get happiness back then you lose it because that's about it like we're here to live we're here to experience the whole package the tears the blood the shedding skin the uh, oh wait there's another less aggressive word for it the glow ups the mental and physical and everything glow ups and then you go back to your bad habits and then you start over. Uh, so yeah, as I was saying, um, we're here to experience everything but in the meantime, you know, if you're experiencing perhaps a little more sadness than happiness, let me tell you that even if it's a hundred years and then you just get one day, like the day you're gonna die and that day you feel immensely happy, like let's say let's, everything clears up, everything feels better, everything gets fixed. Trust me, I mean, you didn't deserve anything that happened before that, but I'm not saying that it's going to be worth it, but like, okay, I'm just, let me finish, okay? You're not going to care. You're going to, you're not going to care. You're going to be so present in that happiness. You're going to be like in that scenario that you've always dreamed of, that you've always hoped for, that you've always waited for, that you've always longed for, that you that you thought was not real, that it was fictional for you, but realistic fiction for everyone else. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> um, don't worry that it happened this late. Like, be it's just a, trust me that you're gonna be so happy, you're not gonna care, you're gonna be so distracted by all the joy pouring inside of you, and uh, also, uh, you're gonna exhale all that joy out of yourself, like, you're not gonna have time to think, what? What? Come on, happiness, why are you so late? Du -du 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 -du. Are you really gonna start a drama right there? I don't think so, I don't think so, because that would be the dumb idea to do, and then I would just finish you, and I would just, you know, I'm dead. Cause like, he didn't deserve to have at least like your last five minutes, your first and last five minutes of happiness in your whole life. Um, so yeah, you're not gonna waste your time doing that, are you? No, you're just gonna live. Cause like, just as people that have amazing lives and they're like pieces of shit, like once they get caught, they're gonna rot. No matter if they had 90 years of, you know, what happens to the most successful empires? No matter how many years they've reigned, like when they're dethroned, when they're over, when they're destroyed, they're destroyed, bam. Trust me that the king, the emperor is not gonna care about how many, no, 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 no. He's gonna be present in that moment, in the ruins. So yeah, just as people will suffer, people will be happy and uh, trust me that your time's gonna arrive someday. This sounds also like a prophecy. Like a... <laughs> this sounds like God. I don't know. But, um... Yeah, just take it in the best way possible. In the most positive way. <laughs> um, be a good person. Because you don't know when the tables will turn. Because trust me, they will turn. And, uh... There will be fire! And unicorns. Unicorns for everyone as well. So, don't worry. <laughs> um... Don't lose hope. Because... It's gonna arrive and whatever you do that you're like oh my god I can't believe I did I didn't do this sooner um I can't believe it either <laughs> but um uh, don't worry cuz you know just like don't worry cuz like just keep doing your thing you know like you already find you already found out and you're doing this let's waste no more time okay like you're gonna be so happy so <laughs> you can't you can't waste your time thinking Oh my god, all these years. No, 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 no. Just think about this year. This year, motherfucker. This year. This is the only year that you get. So please, focus. Focus right now, won't you? So, um, yeah. You see, I sort of have mixed feelings about this one. Like, pride and empowerment. Can, uh, are the both of them, like, the same thing? Can they be together and, like, are they supposed to be here in the first place? Because, um... I don't know, it just feels a little weird, because it's like, okay, uh, not everyone deserves your vulnerability, but, like, which one is more real? Like, aren't you, aren't you, like, faking it till you make it and all that kind of stuff? Like, what? What? Why? Like, I don't know, it's like, yeah, 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 empowerment and whatnot, like, to, but do you really have to do that to feel powerful? Like, you're already powerful enough, you know? You don't have to go around saying, like, yeah, I'm powerful. Like, I mean, I always go around saying, yeah, I'm beautiful, but, like, I mean, sometimes you guys need reminders, because, um, you know, you need them, but like, do you need reminders about who you are? Cause, like, no, but seriously right now, like, um, 
I just don't get pride. I don't get pride because I think it's uh, it's it's hurtful. It's hurtful to everyone, even to you. Like you're lying to yourself. You still love him. You do. You do. I do. And um, it's like. What pride? What's pride? I was like, yeah, you gotta respect yourself and not humiliate yourself. Like, yeah, I get that. I get that. But sometimes when you like bash people and you do things in order to make an impression, that's what I don't get. <laughs> like, um, you, you, you don't even believe the things that are coming out of your mouth. You're just saying all these things to gain something out of the other person. Like, no, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't support it. I don't understand it. And uh, I don't think you should do it. I don't think you should do it. <laughs> having pride. Like, people take people take pride on having pride. <laughs> on being cold. On being heartless. On being detached. Like, what? What? Like, yeah, I'm not that hurt. Like, yeah, I'm a Grinch. And the Grinch is the Grinch during Christmas while I'm the Grinch all year round. Like, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Just no. Just no. No, no. Heck to the no, okay? Just don't do it. Because, like, that's shitty. That's shitty. That's what people, that's what shitty people do. And you're not shitty. Uh, well, if you are, then I'm here to convert you, okay? You're not going to be shitty anymore. <laughs> but seriously, um, why would you pretend? Like, it's just plain pretend again. It's just, I don't know. Are you a child? Are you a child now? You like to call me a child because I wear these things, but look at you, look at you, like, playing uh, as if you were, uh, I don't know, something that you actually aren't. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! No, seriously, stop it. <laughs> like, you're not gonna gain anything from it, and you just, you just feel powerless, because the only thing that you can do in order to feel that you got something inside of yourself, and that you don't depend on anyone else, or that you don't care anymore, is to hide your true feelings, to be not honest to yourself, to be someone you are not. Like, what? It's a trap! I know I say this a lot, but it's a trap! It's a trap to yourself. Um, Cause like, come on, you ain't fooling nobody. He knows that you love him. Um, <laughs> um, I don't know. I just, I don't agree with um, with that kind of stuff. Like hiding your feelings and all that kind of stuff. Not only in a romantic way. I mean about everything. About everything, everything, everything. Everything, everything. Everything. <laughs> sometimes. And I mean sometimes. Just sometimes. You gotta put up a fight. Okay? Cause like, resigning. Yeah, it's sort of like the people pleasing thing, but a little bit more extreme. I, like with everything, it's more submissive as well. Cause it's like, you just you just you you just wrong with it. Resigning to stuff is just gonna make you feel super super sad. I don't know if I had depression, but the the the, the times in which I was extremely sad was when I gave up and I was like, you know, what? I'll just let them do their thing. <laughs> it sounds very radical, but teamwork, like group projects made me so sad and angry because the way they wanted to do things like they wouldn't listen to me and you know what i just stopped i stopped fighting and i let them mock my ideas i let them you know um rub my proposals on their asses as much as they wanted to and i didn't insist on to make a better project than you know what i had in mind like and it cut out my creativity my inspiration my purpose like, it started from there, and then from everything else. Like, I just let people, you know, take away all these pieces of myself. The other one that I really, 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 really feel passionate about, because it's all about the love. It's about the loving. It's about being Cupid. About being a unicorn. Whether a unicorn pug or a real unicorn. Like, <laughs> it's about being vocal. Um, like vocal about your love and about everything like if i watch and it really changed my everything like my social life my self-esteem my everything basically if my day was going bad like just a reply from someone it, it was like whoa 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 oh. it's just like that like you actually replied to me that was fun the phone in our house is broken don't ask me why. But it's broken. It's damaged. It's gone. It's in the trash. That was like a phone waiting for a call. Well, that's it. This is my time. Okay. I mean, I'm ready. I'm ready. Um, to uh, kill some ghosts. And to pretend to be one as well, if I have to. So, um, yeah. 
as I was saying, yeah, I'm like being vocal about everything, like leaving DMs, leaving comments, uh, sharing stuff, uh, sharing stuff on my own account, like in my stories, uh, being more open, being more vocal about all the love, like if I enjoy something, being vocal about it. You got it? You got it? If you didn't get it, uh, then you're not nasty, but like, <laughs> um, yeah, like, being vocal about things is just amazing, because, like, it just opens up more doors to interact with people. It's like, they will always reply back, well, not always, if they're busy or if they are, like, I don't know, a superstar or whatever, but it's like, mostly you'd be surprised, because one day, they will, and, like, if I do it, it's because... Leaving a thank you, I've already talked about this in my other video, but um, like leaving a thank you, being honest about it, no matter if they have like 1,000 comments that say the same thing, like you say it as well because you don't know which one of them that person's gonna read and I don't, I don't mean it for yourself to be like, oh my god, he answered me, no, 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 it's because is he even gonna read them at all, like or the casualty that that person's gonna actually read, like you don't know. Uh, they might seem happy on the inside, but it's like in their own houses or like what they're doing. I don't know whether you're a YouTuber or a whatever artist that you support, or, you know, in silently. Yeah, I'm kind of manipulating you so that you comment on my uh, comment section. Yes, of course. Um, <laughs> no, but like um, comment uh, from my own experience, like um, whenever I do it, I just feel so happy because it's like I made them happy. And it's like we can both talk and we're both happy. And it's like they mostly open up and they tell you, hey, I was not having a, a good day. This, 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 and this happened. And then I read your thing. And it's like, and, like, so I, it's like sometimes we're so afraid of, of like, like, hatred and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I say this from my own experience, like, uh, you know, like shit talking or whatever. Well, I don't know if, I, if I've done that, but in any case, if I have, like, negative stuff comes out way more easier than good stuff. Like, having a crush on someone, loving someone, loving how someone looks, loving how someone does something, all of that, we keep it to ourselves. How selfish of us! You know how selfish! You just freaking tell them! Like, even the most beautiful people, they don't even feel beautiful themselves. So, it's like, people who get love uh, every single day, like, they don't feel worthy of love. So, trust me, you ain't harming nobody. You're harming your people when you say all the other stuff that you say with no issue, with no problem. So easy, and so effortless, and so natural. Love in every single way. Love about how you decorated your house. Love about being grateful for something for, that someone did for you. Uh, love for strangers. Compliments. Gosh, let's peace and love, peace and love. No, just kidding. That would be super boring. Like we gotta, we gotta spice it up sometime. But just as we can spice it up in that way, we can also spice it up in this way. You know, chocolates and strawberries. The language of passion and horniness. I mean, what? But anyway, um, talking about uh, leaving food aside, um, <laughs> let out the love, okay, to everybody, to everybody, everybody, greet them, smile at them, you might get rejected, but that's why you'll punch them. Um, I love how this video is so oh, lovey-dovey and at the same time it's super violent and aggressive. Uh, it must be my period, what can I say? <laughs> Hormones. But um, yeah, so uh, just, just let it out. Um, I really feel good. It's like I'm writing letters to people like I send voice notes like don't be shy about it Freaking send everything send an image send whatever you need to send but like let it out completely at the rate that you want Freaking spam them like you might make their day someday even if they don't uh, exactly uh, see it like You know as you send it because um, probably they have like another <laughs> millions of people um, and um, Yeah, but just let it out it just feels so much better. Like it just gives you like a little purpose of filling up people's uh, hearts with joy and everything. Cause you might think they have all the support in the world, but sometimes they don't. They don't. They don't. They don't. Like look at me. <laughs> my friends. Uh, my friends are. Uh, they're like all over the world. They're all spread like little insects. Um, and over here, next next desk. What do I have? All the crap that doesn't give a shit about me. So. Um, you don't know how people's realities are, so just, you know, be that one person. Like, don't assume, like, oh, yeah, but his family and friends, like, they give him all the love they, that he wants and blah, 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 blah. Um, uh, yeah, don't, uh, don't assume that. Just, you know, just 
just be 100% honest. And uh, yeah, it feels good. It just makes you feel happy. It just makes you feel like, oh my gosh, I said it, I said it. Like, the more you do it, the easier it is. I swear, I swear, like, you won't have anything to be shy about. Like, what? Imagine being shy about doing something good. Like, what? What? It's just gonna make that other person happier. And both of you are gonna be happy. Both of you are gonna feel, whoa, 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 you know? You don't know? Well, that's because you haven't tried it yet. So don't be shy, comment, uh, DM people, message them, call them, spam them, everything, okay? Let them feel you, your presence, your love, okay? Yeah. <laughs> the next thing, the next, the next, the next thing that I wanted to talk about was about being ahead of sadness. What do I mean by this? Is that I was gonna get a journal. I was gonna start journaling and stuff. I already have a video on that. I don't do journaling like the majority of people do. So <laughs> that's how this started. So I was doing a book perch as always. And uh, in the book perch, uh, I cut out some images from uh, a poetry book. Don't kill me yet. <laughs> um, and all of, the, all of the illustrations were like sad. They were very sad. They were very, um, yeah, they were negative. And I was like, oh yeah, I'll put them here so I, I can decorate when I'm gonna vent about my mental breakdowns and it will look so cute. But then I was like, bro, all of these illustrations are all black and white. <laughs> Rupee core, um, uh, poetry books. <laughs> now you know why I did the book perch. But um, <laughs> yeah, so I was like, um, gosh, this is so sad. This is so depressing. What? I, I just looked at the notebook and it didn't, it, it, it was like, there were so many pages reserved for all of those bad days that were to come. And I was like, what? Of course, if I look at this, I'm going to start feeling negative and negative thoughts will come to mind. Like, just let them be what they want to be. And then I ripped off all of the illustrations from the uh, <laughs> Rumpy Course uh, books. And uh, what I started to do was that I put a bunch of bright, cute little things. And the more I saw them, the happier I felt. I just felt happy. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to write happy things because like, it would be a shame to write something so negative and dark, uh, you know, somewhere so cute and beautiful. And <laughs> next thing you know, I have like 200 pages filled out with a bunch of happy shit. Okay, and everything, every time I went to write in a notebook, it didn't feel like something, like a weight, it didn't feel dark, it didn't feel bad, like it just felt super good, because I was like, oh my gosh, which other drawing is there in here, like illustration and stuff, and it's looking at those so colorful, so bright, like they were not black and white, they were not, you know, ambiguous and sad and existential dread, you know, <laughs> like it, it wasn't so hard, like if my feelings are going to be sad, then... <laughs> Let them arrive first. Like, I'm already making them comfortable. You know how when you have invitations, like, you, you tidy up the space? Like, I was already making space for a bunch of negative stuff to come around. And it, 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 hadn't even, it hadn't even happened. Like, I was making it up. I was like, yeah, this is totally going to happen. Like, who knows? Tomorrow I could have a mental... No, 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 no. Stop it, 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 stop it. Okay? If anything, think of the best. And then when the worst comes, like, just let it come on its own. Like, why would you make a, a comfort? space sheltering making sadness feel good so that it stays it sounds like a metaphor but it's not honey it's not it actually works if you <laughs> if you are ahead of sadness in the way in which you don't let it come in then it will come in yeah it will come in without an invitation so why do you need to you know make the house all decorated for it you know you get what you do you get what i'm trying to say like, yeah, realistically speaking, you're not going to be happy every single day, but it's like, you're not going to be sad 10 times out of 11 days, you know? So stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Don't let your mind trick you and be ahead of sadness in the sense that prepare everything so that the chances are, the majority of chances are that you're going to be happy that day. And if you didn't plan to be happy, because of course you don't plan any emotion, you can just, you know, look at the notebook and it will transmit you all the happiness that you don't have yourself. Mm -hmm. ah. Now, hey, you will say I have a bad taste for things, uh, you can, for clothing, which I don't think it's true, but, um, uh, you're pretty judgy, but whatever, for the people that actually have a bit of knowledge in here and are not pretending and being all, um, cocky and stuff, uh, for those people that actually are expertise, like, on, on the subject, like, I think that, yeah, it's cool, cause then you may not enjoy the ten movies, but the one movie that you enjoy, you'll enjoy it. Uh, worth 10 movies that you enjoy. Am I making any sense right now? But what I'm trying to say is that, you know, when you get too critical about things and when you start analyzing everything, like bad movies and stuff, it's like, you miss the bigger idea. 
which was to make you laugh, to make you feel joyful, to make you watch a movie with the family, to make you, you know, because I see so many, like, uh, movie critique videos, and, like, yeah, they they have valid points, but it's, like, you're taking them a little bit too seriously, like, <laughs> then I see my grandpas and my mom and dad, like, laughing at the most stupidest bad jokes ever, cringy acting, and it's, like, how can you, and, and then I'm the one that's with a frown when they're laughing at a, at a movie whose genre is comedy, and it's like, whoa, I wish I had your ignorance. <laughs> Literally, I was like, yes, ignorance is bliss. And it's like, it's not a bad thing to have a bad taste. It just means I have a wider range of enjoying stuff than someone who has like a smaller one that is going to be taking everything. Like, imagine studying every single thing. Like, you, you're here for entertainment. You're here for, com you know, it's like, yeah, you can say that, uh, yeah, I'm not going to be like a zombie addicted to movies, all brainless, just uh, swallowing everything like without having a taste or a critical opinion. Yeah, I understand that. But at the same time, it's like, hey, sometimes it's fun to be that. It's just effortless. It's just like you laugh. You, you feel you have more chance of feeling happy when you watch that thing because you're not like, oh, how could they? Oh, so dialogue. What happened to the writers? What was going through their heads? And the actors, they totally shouldn't have like, stop it. Unless you have to do like something, uh, I don't know, unless you have to do like an actual critique of something, like just, you know, sometimes you just gotta chill, just chill, 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 chill about it. Cause like, yeah, it's a dumb movie, perhaps. It's a, it's a corny romance movie or a dumb comedy movie or a childish, um, scary movie, but hey, they were trying to do something. They were not trying to be best, they were just trying to do what they do, entertainment. So don't take it too seriously, don't take it too personal, just enjoy things as if you didn't know about those terms about cringe and about bad acting and, you know, sometimes not telling the difference is just amazing because you just get amazed by everything. And I don't know, it's just, it's just so easy to be happy, like, why would you want to make it more difficult, you know, like, I mean, unless you enjoy the shit out of, like, roasting stuff, but otherwise, like, I just think that it's... It just subtracts from the overall experience and enjoyment as a as a customer or whatever. So uh, yeah. <laughs> bye bye. I'm out.